Hi everyone, it's Ben and Lucy from, from Ruster Road Trip here and welcome to our first vlog. We've been living on the road for nearly two years now and we've travelled through France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Liechtenstein and Belgium. We spent six months back in the UK earning some cash for our next trip. We've been away for four months now and so far we've been through Germany, Austria, Slovakia, the Czech Republic, Poland, Ukraine, Romania, Bulgaria and now finally Greece. We're planning to head to Albania in a few days. We've been travelling around Greece for six weeks now. We planned to spend Christmas on Lefkada Island but we got literally blown off by the wind and the snow. We ended up spending Christmas at Meteora but the drive to Gaia was pretty crazy. We had to cross a mountain range battling landslides, patches of ice and snow along the way. interest in the second leg of our journey so we thought we'd take you along with us for the ride. Tomorrow we'll be leaving for Albania. Alright so we're on the way to Albania, we're about 200 kilometers away, about four hours and of course we're stuck behind a bloody lorry, so make that about five hours. We really enjoyed our six weeks in Greece. We've met some lovely people, eaten some delicious food, gone to some beautiful beaches, some really sketchy and amazing mountains, but we're looking forward to Albania now. We've really got no idea what to expect when we get there, but we've got a few projects lined up, and we're going to meet a few people through camp surfing, to get a feel for the place, so we're looking forward to that as well. How wonderful Sakhav has brought us back into the mountains today to avoid a 30 km toll road. Um, it's pissing down with rain up here, there's a fresh landslide around every corner and it's just started snowing, so yeah, brilliant. The snowplow has come and absolutely made my day. I'm smiling again, I don't feel so nervous anymore. There's hope yet to get over this snowy mountain today, fingers crossed. Last night we finally made it to Albania. We didn't get it till about 11 at night and we've been on the road since 9. Yesterday morning, driving through the snow was honestly one of the most terrifying experiences of our lives. We had to drive 20 kilometers through 10 centimeter deep snow we had no snow chains on, and we didn't even want to imagine what would happen if we got stuck up there. The van slid out a couple of times, but Ben kept it in control. He did really well, actually. There was so much snow on the windscreen we couldn't see. 
when we finally started going downhill there are half a dozen cars stuck at the bottom sliding around in the snow and we just couldn't believe we made it as soon as we were just 100 meters lower there was almost no snow but those snow plows really saved our lives after a few more hours of mountain driving we finally made it to the albanian border but it wasn't quite what we were expecting We're sat on the Greek Albanian border and there's all these parked cars in front of us except they've all got flat tyres and there's no one in them and there's no one at the border either. Well, it seems that this handsome chap here is the border guard because there's no one else here. Standing around in the rain for half an hour, someone finally came to let us through the border. They didn't search the van, but they did wish us a welcome into Albania. Unfortunately, when we got here, we went to buy a SIM card, knowing our phones wouldn't work, only to find our bank card was blocked. We had no money, no fuel in the van, and no phones to call anyone. We didn't know what else to do, so we came and parked up for the night, and we'll try again tomorrow. After a few hours of head scratching and expensive phone calls to the bank later, we got everything sorted and we could begin to enjoy our beautiful surroundings, including this amazing natural hot spring. It's just over 30 degrees, it's not the warmest bath we've ever had, but the views certainly make up for it. Following our crazy journey to Albania, we decided to stay here for a while and enjoy a daily bath. We also found some new friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our new channel and see you next time.